Hello and welcome. Another first on this channel. <laughs> Tonight or today we're going to do a first quarter moon reading. Like I said, we're in the era of super moon, so I'm very, very drawn to what's happening um, during the moon phases. I have never recorded um, that many readings in a month, <laughs> if that makes sense, but I can't help it. Uh, it's quite important and every time something really stands out, it makes sense to do a video, right? Even if I understand, you know, if you, if you get 10,000 videos a month, you might not go to watch them, I get it. But I can only do what I feel I should be doing. Now, why are we doing a quarter moon or the first quarter moon reading to begin with? Well, it has to do with numbers. The first quarter moon is on the 25th of July. Now, 25, 5 and 2 is 7. July is 7. 2023 is 7. So we have triple 7, which is 21, which is 2 and 1 is 3, progression. The first quarter moon is the time in the phases of the moon where difficulties show up. And it is the time where without waiting for the energy of a new moon or full moon where you should make decisions really really important so what i'm going to do is it's quite simple here we're using the number of seven right because that is the energy we're in we have triple seven right and seven is the highest number of protection and healing so the energy during the first quarter moon, hence I'm recording a video about this, has to do with it being, um, sorry, it's just my insulin pump. <laughs> so, seven is the highest number of protection and healing, just like I just said, and it is really, really important to understand that. Because it is the highest number of protection and healing, the decisions that ought to be make, made are all about what do I need to do to keep, and this sounds a bit wrong, to keep me safe, to keep me sane, and to make sure I'm not losing control, even though control is a very poorly chosen word because you can't control for all. See what I mean? Um, but this is the time where we have to look at where, what, which, which things in life are now sort of become too much, uh, get blown out of proportion, and what can be done about it? So this is a collective reading. This has to do with the energy of the first quarter moon. Therefore, it affects all signs, just like the full moon or the new moon does. Um, so I'm going to ask my guides to give us three cards, three energies, um, which very likely will, will be combined to one bigger message um, about difficulties at this point in time. Now, you have one clue already. Since the first quarter moon is in the energy of triple seven, no matter what's happening um, during this phase, it's not going to be so bad because you're already in the energy of being protected, right? Therefore, you can be a bit more daring, right? Anyway, let's have a look. Decision-making time during the first quarter moon I do not expect me to record this monthly. This is simply because the numbers are really lining up for this one. Um, right, and um, my belief has always been that the people who need to see it will find the video. Okay, so here's what we got. And I'm using my Starseed deck, if that makes sense. Right. Okay, now, we have this one, you're not alone, you are not alone, we have Earth in the middle, right, and we have the Courageous Prioni in the uh, in the end. What the guides are saying to you is quite simple actually, now remember, this is the first quarter moon, this is when difficulties tend to show up, it just happens to be on the 25th of July 2023, 25 7, this July is 7, 2023 is 7. Everything is in the energy of 7. 
Seven is the highest number of protection here in healing. What you have here, what we have here for all signs is to remember you are not for everyone. So the first message is as difficult as it come your way, find out, which means reflect, whatever is happening right now that is upsetting. Does it have to do anything with you? Are you in the right space? Is this really your battle? Whatever you're looking at, is this really your war, your fight, your difficulty, your battle? You are not for everyone. Maybe people have to deserve you better. This is time to reflect. What am I fighting here? Is this something I really feel I should do? Or is there something that I can do to not having to be in that energy? Maybe it's time for change because you are not for everyone. Now, earthed or grounded is the one in the middle. The way to go forward here is to not be... Hmm, sounds a bit wrong. Because we are affected by changes that coming to us and by difficulties that, that, that show up. But it's almost like, you know, these difficulties show up uh, and they rear their ugly head and therefore they're more frightening than they are dangerous. And being grounded, which is the one in the middle, the one in the middle is always the most important. Being grounded is the way to go, right? Again, what I'm getting here strongly is to step back. Right? We're in the number of highest protection and healing. Therefore, the messages already reflect that. Really, really important. Um, so step back a little. Reflect, is this really where I should be at this point in time? Should I really look at these things? Should I really, and this, the way I'm getting this, waste my energy and time on these issues? And then the outgoing energy has to do with courage. So when you then realize that you may not be in the right place and there could be work, there could be relationship, could be anything, your only logical solution is to realize that you would not send your best friend into that situation. You have to then ask yourself the question, why am I doing it to myself? Is it fear? Is it like, oh, if I don't have that job tomorrow, I, I, I might not be able to pay my rent? Well, guess what? If you would lose your job tomorrow, you would not be under the bridge the next day. You would find a way, as you always have. Life is change. Nothing ever stays the same. So why the fear? Why the worry? And if you have created scenarios that are now much harder to shift, while that then means that it is harder to shift, does not mean that it is unshiftable, unchangeable, unsolvable, you have to reflect on what it is you want so that you can manifest just that. Short reading, first quarter moon, 25th of, set, of, sorry, 25th of July, 2023, 5 and 2, 25 is 7. The month is the seventh month, 2023. When you count the numbers together, it becomes 7. We are in triple 7 energy, the highest number of protection and healing three times becomes 21 two and two and one is three three is the number of progress once you begin to realize that not everything you witness here might actually be what you should be dealing with then the progress is i'm gonna move away from this and i make progress that way anyway that's it <laughs> see you um Whenever there is a, a tons of video coming up now on the 1st of August, actually they're coming up earlier on the 28th of July. Um, all the August videos will be released. Um, there will be a love life reading for all signs. There will be um, timestamped. There will be um, a full moon reading. As a matter of fact, we have two full moons. So there is a video that, that deals with both full moons in the month of August timestamped tons of stuff in august i have a guest for the individual videos for each sign my guest this month or in august is claire garbett she runs the not a tree holistic therapies center in telford so there's tons to look forward to and this was the first quarter energy reading 
for July. Like I said, I do not expect me to record another one of these, but this one stood out to me and I have to trust my intuition. If I'm drawn to doing a video about this, then clearly my guides want you to know what to look at. That said, thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. See you all very soon. Bye bye.